here with one of the outstanding stars of the hit TV series, In Between Us. James, how are you doing tonight? I'm very well, thank you. I'm very and good. Are you excited to see this film, Observe and Report? Yeah, no, I can't wait. I'm a, I'm a big Seth Rogen fan, so I'm particularly looking forward to this one. He's a, a huge star at the moment. What do you think it is that's uh, so special about him? Why is he so funny? Um, he's, just, he's just obviously very talented. He's, uh, he's, he's a very talented writer. He's, he's just very likeable. And sort of All the films that he does, he comes across really great in them. And, yeah, I can't wait to see this one. So. Obviously, Anna Faris, another star of the film. What, what do you think of her? Are you a fan? Uh, I'm not too familiar with Anna Faris, I'm afraid. So. She, she started off in sort of... She was in the scary movie series, and then she oh, was no, in she was in the I House Bunny. Yeah, no, yeah. Of course, I do know who she is. Yeah, no, she's lovely. Yeah, no, I do know who she is. Yeah. All oh, right, I didn't realise she was in this, but yeah, even better. You're looking so. a little bit happier. You're perking up there. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it, I saw a cheeky smile there. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, yeah. No. I'm looking forward to seeing it now. So. Yeah. Well, uh, obviously, congratulations on best new comedy for the Inbetweeners. How do you feel about that? Over the moon. Yeah. It, um, yeah, this, it's going to be something that I'm going to be proud of for many years to come. So. Cool. Apparently I've heard that you're doing a new sitcom for the BBC called Fresh. How is that all going? What's the premises of it? Um, yeah, we've just I've just finished last week uh, filming uh, Fresh for the BBC. It's a, a sitcom about sort of students, about four students, and sort of what goes on in their flat and sort of all the shenanigans they get up to. So... Is it a bit naughty like Skins, or is it a little bit kind of more? No, it's not. It's um, it's a bit, it's a bit more tame actually, um, which which made it a bit more challenging uh, to sort of make something funny um, without relying on swear words and sort of you know knob gags and things like that. Has has, has been sort of di difficult for me especially, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how it comes out. There's nothing wrong with the knob gag or two, is there, Russell? Well. I... <laughs> Yeah. No, no, no comment, no comment. Spe speaking of, of jokes, I guess, I mean, obviously... Me I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm <laughs> tell not, us a joke, tell us a joke. <laughs> no, I don't have one. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you a joke, but what I would ask you as someone who makes very good British comedy, who do you think does it better, Brits or Americans? Because, you know, there is a bit of a, a, bit of a competition um, there. Yeah, I'll, I'll always sort of fly the, the British flag. I mean, there's been some great American uh, comedies, but I just feel that... Um, there's been many more British ones, and there's so there's so much sort of British talent, especially in comedy. And there's just you, you know I think more comedies are being made surely than anything else at the moment because there's there's so many of them, and there's a comedy out there for everybody. And it's not just nowadays it's not just like a, a, a Morgan and Wise or something where sort of millions of people will view in to see sort of one television program. There's sort of there's a comedy for everyone. There's sort of and, that, and they've all got like a cult following and. Yeah, there's there's a there's a lot of British talent, so I'm just pleased to be among them, I guess. Yeah. Now, obviously, your own career is going pretty well on the small screen. Yeah. Uh, what about the big screen? Is that something you'd like to try at some point? Yep, yeah, sure. If anyone wants to <laughs> throw a film my way, then I'll be more than happy to jump on board. So <laughs> that's all I can say on that. <laughs> Well, James, thank you very much for talking you, to us. We're, we're going to let you. you go and enjoy the film and thank enjoy you. all your success. Get some popcorn. Yeah. Here with two of the gorgeous stars of Skins. And how are you tonight, ladies? Very good, thank you, yes. Good, good, good. Hot. Yeah, it's really hot in here, but it's nice. But, you know, you're, you're, you're dressed very cool. Very you are dressed very cool. <laughs> I love the shoes. I love the shoes. My shoes? Oh, thanks. Oh, oh thanks. Both of them. They are cool. I just love heels. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. Everyone loves heels. <laughs> What brings you here tonight in your lovely heels? Um, an invitation. An invitation. <laughs> and also because we love Seth. We love him a lot. Why do you love Seth so much? Because he's funny. I've got great admiration for him. I like Knock Knock a lot, even though it was sort of subtly funny. It was kind of... Uh, I thought it was funny. I love Knock Knock. Yeah, but there was like underlying things that weren't obvious that were really funny. Um, so obviously you're well known for the cult classic Skins, which you joined in the second series. How did you feel? Because obviously the first series was such a big kind of thing. How did you feel filling in, filling in those boots? Pressure. Really. Well, it was really pressured. Yeah, yeah really scared. And the, everyone was like to us, look, be prepared because people will probably hate you at first. But people, we got, we were I thought people <laughs> were going to be a lot meaner about it than, uh, than they were. Yeah, we were received quite well. Because we thought, I really literally, thought like the producer sat us down in a room, was like, "Be prepared, everyone's gonna hate you." Just for the first really episode, liked the, the first two series is so. It's like, like if they change the cast of Desperate Housewives, I would yeah. get angry. So yeah. 
yeah, exactly. So we were really pleased that it got re received so well. So it really did, I think. And are you two still studying at the moment? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the middle of a piece of psychology course. Oh. Yes. And I did a philosophy exam today. Oh, my God. Uh, well, I hope that went well. How did it go? So, so. Did you revise enough? No, I forgot. I only remembered I had it on Monday. I don't remember. <laughs> Just cram it in. An hour before. But that's when you remember it most. Exactly. Um, <laughs> how do you find studying and acting at the same time? How do you balance that out? Is it quite difficult? Yeah. It's, yeah. No, it's okay now, but then when we were actually filming, it was... It was I, I literally so missed annoying. four months straight of, of um, college. Yeah, and, and like completely. you came back and everything's changed completely. And also with the people as well, like you miss your friends from yeah. school. And, and like the journey to Bristol is so long as well. Mm -hmm. And like some days I had to come back from Bristol in the morning, go to school, and then straight from school go back to Bristol. Yeah. And I, my college told me I was expelled. And uh, I managed to work my way back in. You got expelled? Yeah. And then she forced her way back. Then, well, I don't know. But uh, yeah, they expelled me. So, but I managed to work my way back in. So do you get your schoolwork like sent to where no, you're no. doing it? No. No, no my teacher was like, it's your job. You find the work. Yeah. I did. I, I have. I got a B in my psychology well exam. Yeah. So it's okay. Well cool. Yeah. Um, now, Catherine. Obviously, you play like a lesbian in Skins. Uh, how did you find that? Was it quite difficult? Or? No, like, I didn't. I really didn't think it was more difficult than it would have been. Say, like, I mean, it was obviously really awkward. Like some of the scenes. Not awkward, but there's like a big crew watching you and blah blah blah. It's like horrible. But I didn't find it more sort of daunting because she was a girl mm. at all like I would have felt this exactly the same if it was a boy but um so was that your first kiss on screen ever throughout your <laughs> no uh, oh. no I was in uh, I was in doctors once and I had to kiss uh, you know the guy from the drink driving drink ad. drive advert where the he's at the pub and then they, they oh, crash yeah, into yeah, 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 yeah. and then he's yeah. just him. like this she kissed him Ooh. just quickly no tongues involved? No, no tongues. Should have slipped one in there. I should have, shouldn't I? <laughs> Just to say that I did. Yeah. I didn't. No, I missed a trick. Cool. Well, thank you very much. We found a 